Cole, former acting secretary of Homeland Security. Uh, sir, good to see you. Oh, thanks for having me. Good to be on. So if we go with this brilliant idea, what would happen? Uh, well, I mean, it's it's an absurd claim. It's reckless. And I'm not even really sure where to start. But she talks about defunding CBP and ICE specifically. So we'll start there. Yeah. Obviously, she doesn't want any type of border enforcement. So the southwest border, the northern border, all the DHS law enforcement officers on those border trying to enforce the sovereignty of the United States are gone. Um, so that's that's what she wants there. ICE we talk about not only folks, uh, ICE law enforcement officers removing individuals, again, that have no legal right to be here, but these officers also do human trafficking, sex trafficking, child exploitation. So I guess the Congresswoman doesn't want those laws to be enforced either. But at the end of the day, these are laws passed by Congress. And the last time I checked, she is a member of Congress mm -hmm. who has passed immigration laws. And it's up to law enforcement and members of DHS law enforcement community to enforce those laws. So the Congresswoman really needs to start closer to home with members of Congress. And if she wants the laws changed or she doesn't want the laws enforced, she needs to change the law instead of trying to defund law enforcement uh, to, to uh, do her job. Yeah, exactly. So how bad are ideas like this hurting that party? I mean, she is a member of the Democrat Party. I mean, she's about as far left as they come. But um, you're watching right now. We're, we're watching as, as Democrats are trying to fool us into thinking that they've always supported law enforcement, that they love police again, and you've still got people like Rashida Tlaib out there still saying all the crazy, wacky stuff that was okay to say last summer. Well, I think it's important to remember, we also have members of Congress like Speaker Pelosi, who has called DHS law enforcement officers uh, the Gestapo or stormtroopers. You even had Vice President Harris as a senator, refer to ICE law enforcement as the KKK. So they are well on the record of trying to defund law enforcement and defund DHS and elements of DHS. And like I said, it's foolish, it's reckless, it's irresponsible. And I think over time, you're starting to see a wide variety of these individuals starting to walk those comments back because they know at the end of the day, uh, regardless of the political wins it may get them with their concerns, constituents, it's a very dangerous policy. Oh, absolutely. And it's and I think more so. I don't, I don't even know that these people that any of them really even care about uh, what happens to the country because of these policies and, and the things that they say. I think they think about the next election and I think they know they're going to get trounced uh, if they continue to say stuff like this because nobody else believes in it except them. Um, earlier today, South Dakota's governor, uh, Christy Nome, uh, announced an additional deployment of 125 National Guardsmen to help secure the border. From an article, the newest troop deployment was in response to a request from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the National Guard Bureau. With, with Biden at the helm, is, is it interesting to you to see that request come in? Uh, it is actually very interesting to see that request come in from, from DHS. What we do know is that a number of states like Arizona and Texas are requesting additional law enforcement support from their other governors and other states around the country. And they're doing that through an interstate compact. And so we see Florida and Arkansas and other states providing uh, assistance to the state of Texas specifically. I think that this is the first time I have heard that DHS is actually requesting these individuals. Yeah, absolutely. The Trump administration for deploying DOD to the border is now doing the same um, on the southern border and deploying uh, DOD assets down there to try to get the surge under control at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We lost you there for a second. Again, we're having some uh, issues with the Internet tonight, I guess. But Chad Wolf, former acting secretary of Homeland Security. Good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for coming on. All right. Thank you. OK.